All right, I want to go over your uh, shop pages and um, kind of how to edit them. So if, you, if you'll notice in the live preview and in your demo content, there's actually two shop pages. This one called Shop Default. This is actually the default WooCommerce um, page. So if you've used WooCommerce before, that'll make sense. If not, um, you know, this is basically just the default in WooCommerce. You can edit these pages if you go under Customize not edit with Elementor, the customize button. And if you go to shop and shop index options, typography, etc., you can adjust things like the column count and more um, right there, post per page, um, all those options right there. You can actually show the post rating on the index as well, like so. So um, if we exit out of that, I just wanted to go over that on how to edit the uh, the shop index. This is based on the traditional shop, if you want a traditional shop on your site. Uh, and how the, uh, this is the layout of all the categories as well, if you have categories set up. So, um, but the reason I want to go over it was I want to go over the shop featured page. Because basically what we did was we built a um, much fancier and uh, cooler um, shop index that's uh, more modern now and kind of way shops are leading to at least for featured pages. And this is actually edited with the page builder. So if you click edit with element one on top, you'll see that um, you can edit all the sections of this page. You can edit the images, the text, uh, the price right there. And um, these buttons are actually shop buttons. So if you want to link to an existing product, you can do so right here. Um, so yeah, that is going to cover uh, you know, the, uh, the basics of the page builder. I just wanted to go over that since this one's controlled by the page builder. And then this one actually down here is actually a product list. So you can actually pull in more products if you wanted um, in here and it's unless using these options on the left, you can adjust the column count like so. Uh, you really have a lot of options over how to edit this page. It's just kind of a template to give you an idea of some of the possibilities of creating really unique shop landing pages or if you wanted to have a couple of products on your home page, you can do so um, as well with that. And so that's basically just going to cover. I just want to do the overview to I know a couple of buyers would be wondering, what the heck is the difference? So shop default just pulls in all the products like in a product list, which are all managed under products. Pretty simple. And then um, um, the other one is edited using the page builder, the shop feature layout.